Good morning, everyone, to Tuesdays with Suzanne. And I'd like to welcome you. And the topic for today is when good news comes, when good news comes. Because we've been talking about the last few times that we've worked, we've talked about when things are really rough and when the immune system and the nervous system gets really taxed and depleted. And sometimes, sometimes, when good news arrives, when things ease up, when there's an opening, when there's a, a, a place to rest and sink in, the body almost doesn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing about that. So let's talk about this for just a moment because one of the things that's most important for us as human beings is to stay in the flow of life, to have this flow of chi move through us as much of the time as we possibly can. And I was speaking with and teaching with one of my colleagues this weekend who just went through a pretty traumatic thing across the course of the last three weeks. Uh, fell, broke both wrists badly, um, was in surgery, had to fly home. You know, all these different things had occurred. And now the, the opening is occurring. This can also happen when you've been under a lot of stress like we're doing with COVID um, and the Delta variant is rising again and those who are unvaccinated are probably going to go down at this point based on how infectious it is. And, and for most of the country, they're, oh, okay, we can take a breath because we did go and get the vaccine because we are resting back in a time and a place where things are beginning to work right, where things are falling into place, less unknowns, and we're able to work with what life is giving us in a little easier way. Okay, So our ground and fill today is going to be how to take that sense of things are working right and sit with it and get clarity about your next step without sort of <gasps> floating away with elation or ebullience or however you want to describe it, okay? So if you would, sit back, get the soles of your feet on the floor, allow your awareness to begin to drop inside your inner landscape. And as you do that, as you feel the rise and fall of your chest, you feel the movement of your spine. Notice what it feels like to be you as we begin. Whatever you have just emerged from in your life, this is Tuesday morning here in Reston, Virginia, I don't know what time it is or what day it is, wherever you are listening to this. But allow yourself to really check in. Check in at a heart level. As you breathe in and out, your lungs are cradling your heart. Supplying it with fresh oxygen so that all the cells of who you are are being fed. They're also carrying away waste products that you no longer need. So simply allow yourself to rest back in this wonderful exchange that's going on between your lungs and your heart. As you feel the rise and fall of your chest, as your lungs are filling and then emptying. Hmm. And your heart is being fed. Yeah. Allow yourself to feel the blood flow as it streams through all of your arteries, 
out into the cells of your body. First in the major arteries, pumping down into the minor ones, right on down into the capillary beds that touch every cell of who we are. Hmm. Good. 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 Yeah. And as you feel all the way down into your toes with your breath, all the way into your backbone, down into your fingertips, continue to pay attention to how this natural flow occurs all the time. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm noticing as I'm simply breathing, allowing my lungs to feed my heart, and my heart to let go of the old blood, the carbon dioxide, and I'm exhaling it. How deeply, how deeply this process embeds me in all of life. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. And recognizing that as you exhale, but in the world around us, trees inhale the carbon dioxide. They absorb it and give us back fresh oxygen. The greenery, the plants. Yeah. And I'm noticing that I'm feeling more grounded into the earth as I connect with the trees and the plants and the green, wherever it is around me. Good. How easy it is to feel my feet on the floor, to feel my rootedness down into the earth. <laughs> Connecting to the trees and the green around me. Connecting deep inside to the inhale and the exhale. And I want to just say that even if inhaling and exhaling in some way is less than you would like it to be, allow yourself to breathe at whatever level you can do. And as you do that, thank the air for coming in. Accept the pathway that it's able to go on. Feel the rise and fall of your chest to whatever degree you can. <sighs> and I'm noticing that my breath is becoming easier and easier. And as I do that, I'm also dropping deep into my bones. And my, what I'm happy about, what I'm settled about, what I'm feeling elated about, Things are becoming very clear. Feels good. But it also feels grounded to be here, to be present with you. 
celebrating whatever something in your world you can celebrate right now. Good. Good. Holding it in your heart, in your breath, dropping back into your spine, feeling your sitting bones and your feet on the floor, just being who you are. Allow your eyes to open, look around in your space. If you can see trees and greenery around you from where you're sitting, thank them for the cycle of life, the circle of life. We are so deeply connected to the earth, to the green that grows around us, to the oxygen it provides us, and us for the carbon dioxide we breathe back out to the trees and to life itself. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And enjoy. Enjoy.